Hey everyone, welcome back to another tech tip and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a theme to Mozilla Firefox. Check it out. And just one quick thing before we hop on over to the computer, just a reminder that this is to add a theme in Firefox. If you're looking how to add a theme to your Google Chrome, you can go ahead and click on the card in the top right hand corner and that will take you to our previous video on how to add a theme to Google Chrome. And of course, just to get started here, there's a few different ways that you could go ahead and open up your Mozilla Firefox. That could either be a, by a desktop icon on the desktop, it could be in the start menu. If you click on the start menu and type the word Firefox, you can click on it this way. Or if you have it down on the taskbar like I do, you can left click on it that way. Either way, once you have your Firefox open, there's a few different ways that we can actually get to the theme section of Firefox. And to do that, you can of course Google search Firefox themes. We're not going to do that because that's the longest way. You can go to the menu, which is in the top right hand corner, come on down to add-ons and that will take you into the add-on section of Firefox. Or the quickest way is if you hold control shift and then A as an alpha, that is the keyboard shortcut that will take you to the theme or the add-on section of Firefox. Now, as you can see, it did default to the theme area of Firefox, and this is exactly where we want to be because this is where we're actually going to choose a theme. You can see that Firefox will typically come with a dark, a default, and a light theme for basic use. But if you wanted to choose your own and get something that's a little bit more you, you can click on this link right here where it says choose from thousands of themes. Left click it, a new tab will open up and then you can go through here and choose which type of theme you want. You can see that they've got categories to kind of help you fine tune those search results. Um, or they do have a search bar in the top right hand corner where you can find if you're looking for like a specific color or a different theme that's not under these categories, you can type that in there and that will give you the results for that. I'm going to go ahead and click on abstract and see what results it brings up. So we've got a few different in what, different ones in here. Uh, we've got Blue Flow, that one looks good. A Fractal Frost, that one looks pretty cool. Let's do the Fractal Frost. Now, with Firefox, it's not uh, close like Google Chrome is. When you add a theme to Google Chrome, it will like change the background of everything like on your actual browser. Firefox typically isn't the case. It will usually just change the top section of that. There are different ways to go in and change the background and customize it that way, but that is information for another video. So in this particular video, we're just strictly stick, sticking with the theme. So let's click on Fractal Frost and you're going to see install theme. This will indicate that you can actually install the theme on your current version of Firefox. Reason I say that is because sometimes with the newer Firefox, the Quantum, you may not have certain add-ons or themes that are com compatible and it will give you a message right here typically that says this is not compatible with the latest version of your Firefox or if it says that you may say like you're not, not compatible with Quantum. If you're getting that, you'll have to find a new one because that one isn't compatible with your version. Um, if you do uh, have the install theme, you can go ahead and left click on that. You're going to get a little message up here that says top left says manager add-ons by clicking the puzzle in the menu and the fractal frost has been added to Firefox. And then you did notice that right here on the top section that the actual little top bar was able to change and it has added your actual theme. Hey guys, thanks for watching that tech tip. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, give it a share, leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section, of course, below the video. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we will see you next time.